guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to give you a crash course on how to use TeamViewer 8. So you go to TeamViewer.com, download it, and install it. And basically what I use it for is for remote um, control of my other PCs or a friend's PC if they give me access. So how does it work? So you download it, you install it, here's your ID code. So if you want to give someone your ID code and the password, then they can log into your PC and they can watch what you're doing or you can control their PC as well to help them out with some troubleshooting or whatever you got to do for example. What I like to do is I like to make an account on TeamViewer and add my other PCs. So I um, install TeamViewer on my other computers, add it to the same account and I can connect to it. The best part is I don't even need to have the internet to connect to my PCs on my own internal LAN. So for example, right here is my laptop. If I double click the laptop and try to connect to it, I have it set up where it, can, it will automatically accept the LAN connections exclusively. So here it is the LAN, here is the laptop. And right now I have it set up where I disabled the background. So if I want to re-enable the background, I think it's in the settings, somewhere in one of the settings here, but I'm not going to waste your time and my time trying to do it. And if I go into like the desktop here, I can go to, you know, navigate my C drive and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Now, another thing you could do, let me exit that, is you could say, oh, I want to do like a file share or file transfer. So I don't want to walk downstairs to my computer in the basement, for example, and carry a USB thumb drive. What I could do is I can go ahead, go to say, you know, my documents and go ahead and dump a file there or whatever I got to do and dump files from the left hand side to the right hand side or vice versa. So that's another way of using TeamViewer. And if you want to set up how to set up this unintended access, go right here, connection, set up unintended access, do what you got to do, add a password, and then you're good to go. So now you can connect to your computer remotely. What I like to do is if I'm at, like, at work, for example, I can tunnel into my PC at home, go ahead, check on the download or transfer a file, whatever I got to do. It's a real time saver. I love this program. And it's free. So you like this type of video, like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.